It's no secret Detroit has a serious crime problem and it's had one for many years. But tonight we're getting a closer look at how bad it is. Four of the 10 most dangerous neighborhoods in America are right here in the D. And tonight, Charlie LaDuff visits the most dangerous of them all on the city's west side. The most violent neighborhood in Detroit. In America. In America? <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Got a philosophy right in the yeah, and I thought they was gonna interview me for the murders, but no. <laughs> oh no, 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 no murder, no murder, no murder. <laughs> I gotta call you back. <laughs> it's not surprising that Detroit, America's most violent city, would have the country's most violent neighborhood. But Detroit is also home to America's second, third and seventh most violent neighborhoods as well. According to a new study by NeighborhoodScout.com, a person living in these neighborhoods has worse than a one in 10 chance of being robbed at gunpoint, beaten senseless, raped, or murdered. This shocked even us. So my partner Matt Phillips and I took a drive to the west side to the exact center of the most violent neighborhood of them all, on American Street. How old are you? I'm 21. How old do you expect to live? <laughs> Till I'm at least 90 or 100, <laughs> at least. But ain't no telling. We wake up every day. You never know when it's your time to go. What's your dream, Lance? Uh, my dream, I really want to play professional baseball. I was, I was doing that at one point in time. Yeah. It's a typical type of Detroit neighborhood, the kind not included in the downtown talks of money and real estate and rebirth. Here it goes, church, liquor store, church, liquor store. Looking around, it's hard to know which has had the greater influence. My grandson could have been dead twice, but, but for the mighty, just for the help of the Lord, because you know what? Nobody was there to save him. We just heard a bunch of gunshots and seen a car, and that was it. Then that's when I found out a person that I knew got killed. When I seen it happen, it messed me up then. Then as I got older, I was just started to understand him. I mean, I understand why it happened, but I started to just not really, you know, I wouldn't even say not really care, but just just understand what happened, basically. The bottom line is, here these single parents are trying to raise these kids. These kids don't have anybody at home but television, and they're running loose. We didn't do that kind of stuff. Our parents were parents. The parents of today, the they just aren't the same as ours. And I think that's when lies the real problem. And they're not enough uncles in blue to clean up the mess. Exactly. They won't let us be uncles like we used to. They, like I had an uncle in blue. He wouldn't allow it. He would kick my you-know-what. <laughs> it's to the fact that they really care or not, honestly. Like, if they really care to, to solve the crime. Because there's so many unsolved crimes in Detroit. It's ridiculous. And it goes and, and it keeps going. It's just a cycle. It just keeps going on and on and on and on. It has to do with the freeway coming through your neighborhood. It has to go with this, I don't know where the nearest school is from here. There's no schools There's anymore. Home. People started losing their homes. People started losing hope. People didn't have anywhere to go, you know? Your options are very limited. You can leave and try to have a future, or you can stay, and you're rolling the dice, and there's the dice. We're all cousins living in this thing called America, and when we're gone, they'll talk about us and what we were, whether you lived on American Street or the Avenue of the Americas. It's up to us about what they'll say. Detroit is where the heart is. Like, my heart is in Detroit, so I, I grew up in this city. I, I know this city well. I ain't saying I'm gonna be here for the rest of my life, but at this point in time, I'm here and I'm dealing with it. In Detroit, Charlie Duff, Fox 2 News.